Hello everyone, so uh, this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to set up a uh, stock screening tool provided by ADVFN. So the first thing you want to do is obviously ADVFN.com is the address of the website. Um, it's a completely free screening tool, I should, uh, I should say that before we go any further. So this is what you do, you click on sitemap. Uh, let's say we want to screen um, just uh, stocks in America, so we click on US Screener. Okay, and then what we do is just Start Screener. Okay, so immediately we've got 164 pages. We've got all the stocks. I think there's about 8,600 or so stocks listed on American stock exchanges. Uh, you know, the NASDAQ, the NYSE, etc. Uh, but obviously, the purpose of a stock screening tool is to, um, you know, reduce the number of stocks which we would consider for a trade or an investment. Uh, and there are, you know, hundreds of different criteria we could use. If you look at all of these different criteria uh, that ADVFN provide, uh, I mean, there's there's... There really is hundreds of them, you know, it would take me forever to go through each of them. Uh, but let me just give you an example of what you would do to be very specific with the way you searched. So let's say, for example, we wanted companies with a, um, I don't know, let's say a, a high net profit margin. Okay, so in key figures, if you notice, I just scroll down to net margin. So now what's that done is it's given us a list of the net margin for each of these stocks. But this is where um, the, the real benefit of a screening tool comes into play. Because what we do is just click on any of these figures. So let's just click on a net margin figure. Uh, we just wait for that to load and then what we can do is we can specify the criteria so let's say we only want to um, look at stocks which have a really high net profit margin okay so we would ex tick the exclude net margin less than box and let's say we don't want to look at any companies with a net margin less than 20 percent so we'll type in 20 click submit and as you can see now, there's only six pages of stocks. So we've gone from 164 pages to just six pages. And all of these stocks have a very high net profit margin. Um, but let's see what else we could do. So let's say, for example, um, we didn't want any stocks which had high debt ratios. So a common um, way of... Uh, gauging the debt situation with the stock is the Altman Z ratio. So if we click on the Altman Z ratio figures, and then again, uh, we're just waiting for it to load. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, um, you know, the, uh, there's been some empirical uh, evidence which suggests that stocks with a low Altman Z ratio are more likely to fall in price. So what we could do, two is a, 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 an often quoted benchmark, but let's be even more conservative than that and we'll exclude any stock with a Z ratio less than three. So we clicked exclude, we put in three, submit. So now we've only got four pages of stocks. Um, and without boring you, you know, and going through uh, more criteria, um, you can see that you can keep doing various screens. I mean, let's try the snap margin one again. Let's only look for stocks with a really, really high net profit margin. So we'll put in 100. Uh, and let's see if any... So let's exclude... Any stocks with a net margin less than, let's say 90. So we've clicked exclude, we've put in 90, we click submit. And we'll just wait for that. Okay, so now we've only got one page and you can see we've got 15 stocks. So what we would then do is we would run one of our technical um, uh, trading strategy models. 
uh, every day if and if any of these stocks set up during the week then we take the trade knowing that not only do they meet our technical rules but they've also met whichever fundamental criteria you have entered into your stock screener once you've set it up and you've put all the criteria you can think of uh, and you know you can you can search by sector industry market cap um, oh inventories you know uh, e EBITDA blah 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 you know uh, the, literally if you, if you look at these lists there are so many possibilities but once you've uh, set it all up you can just click on save this screen you can give it a name so high net margin uh, bah, 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 excuse me high net margin save that and then every time you log back into ADVFN then you can uh, just come to the screener again so let me remind you sitemap US screener and then this time you wouldn't start a screener you've got your screen saved up here and then you can just scroll down to high net margin and this will obviously automatically update so you know every time there are earnings releases then these stocks are going to change so what I do is I just check once a week uh, and depending on what which companies have um, you know released earnings then obviously the figures will change and the companies on the list will change uh, and there we are I hope that's been a, a help don't forget there are plenty of other free stock screening tools you can use um, but you know I, I like this ADVFN I've used it for years um, it's nice and simple uh, and that's all we want really we just want to streamline and simplify our the methods we use to enter and exit the market so thanks for watching um, for other videos please check out uh, the rest of them on my blog which is at www.backtestwizard.com and for free trade alerts uh, please follow me on twitter uh, twitter name is at backtest underscore wizard have a great day and uh, thanks for watching take care